Okay, so we will continue on our next topic for this chapter one regarding the introduction to special and inclusive education. So for this chapter, we are already done on understanding diversity, which you have watched from the previous video. And then this is the main topic that we are going to discuss here on the basic concepts related to special and inclusive education. And we will be having remaining one topic, okay? But we will be focusing on the basic concepts related to special and inclusive education. So with the current reforms of our Philippine government, especially on the Department of, or given the test on the Department of Education, so we have here two important DepEd orders na naghatag ng mas uh, dako na standard in where teachers are already um, expected to become implementers of the inclusive education or all students should be enjoying uh, equal access to education. So these are DEPED Order number 21, series of 2019, the policy guidelines on the K-12 basic education program, and the DEPED Order number 42, the series of 2017, or the national adoption and implementation of the Philippine Professional Standards for Teachers, or PPST. Now, um, before we go to our main discussion, I have here two questions na para ato ang reflect or ato asa as uh, intro para mas makita na to kung uno ang ato ang katuyuan or objective sa inina lesson. Ang inclusive education ba is same ra sa special education? Or uno man sad ang ila ang mga uh, kaparihan or kalahian sa ini na duha ka terms. Or remember na ato ang subject, is it, it is entitled Foundations on Special and Inclusive Education. Ato i-try pag uh, analyze or yato i, i describe any na mga terms. Now let's start with defining inclusive education. As you see in this in this picture, magkaidia na kita kung uno ang um, katuyuan sa inclusive education na ay mga learners with disabilities sharing the same environment or the same world with people na walay mga disabilities. So according to UNESCO or the United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization, they define IE or the inclusive education as about putting the right to education into action by including all the learners respecting their diverse needs, abilities, and characteristics, and eliminating all the forms of discrimination in the learning environment. So in the last subtopic, we've been talking about how we understand diversity and that we have, uh, we, we even mentioned about the diversity wheel, na, na, pakita, gajud, na there are really differences. And in here, sa inclusive education, ginapakita na regardless of the differences and with their abilities, with their characteristics, dapat gajud ato a i-eliminate or mahimo, no? ma-reduce ma doon na mga, uh, mga uh, biases no? sa mga 
uh, students, especially katun may mga special needs. Ba? Then, um, inclusive education, process sa dya sa strengthening the capacity of the education system to reach out to all the learners. No, ang inclusive education, hindi siya limited sa pipila ng kasudyante or katundang may mga uh, kaya or may power to enroll uh, in education. So, dapat ang um, in, um, inclusive education objective niya is to extend its uh, accessibility even to the uh, persons na murabag impossible na i, i maka access tungod sa ilang status in life. So dapat open ini sa tanan tawo. It is also the process wherein this can be really beneficial on overcoming the barriers, limiting the presence, participation, and and achievement of learners. Kay tungod sa mga limitations, usually ang mga learners dili nila ma-enjoy ang uh, ang knowledge na gina share po sa mga regular classes. Inclusive education is the really key standard to achieving uh, learning engagement. And that brings us to the koan, kanina na uh, definition na inclusive education serves as the core principle of the K-12 curriculum. So I will bring you again to the Defend Order number 21, uh, series of 2019 policy guidelines on the K-12 basic education program. So di ba, sa K-12 program, gina-prepare or ang design din ha is for all students na ang ila ang mga abilities, ilang interest is ma-cater. Especially pag abot na bito sa senior high na kung diri sa area sa TVL, TVL. Di ba? Nakapoy sa yugs na isa STEM. So, muna siya ang sa curriculum. And it should be a learner center na apoy talaga na ito na appropriate sa ilang development as to their age, as to their capability. And inclusive education serves to be a culture-sensitive na program for the system. Meaning, walay i-discriminate na mga races, walay i-discriminate na culture, walay i-consider or walay dapat i na kuan na uh, upos pa o, or taas ini na culture compared sa ini and relevant no gender responsive and contextualized so later on diri na to makita ang beauty or ang ang richness sa goal bitaw ng inclusive education to include everybody to enjoy the engagement um, by the way, inclusion is not just limited sa in education na dyan mo skwila, na dyan skwila. It also about sa, it is also about on the accessing opportunities sa work, sa uh, industry, and so many more na mga opportunities as long as it's it concerns the kuan, the individual na mga development. So with these concepts, we are just trying to say here na teachers shall be considered as primary implementers of inclusive education because they will address the needs of the learners. So come up as the teacher teachers, you'll be responsible of these things. So right now, we'll define on the special education, we will define on that. So, uno man ang special education, another um, system. No? So, according again to UNESCO, na ang kuan, ang special education or the SPED is defined as the classes or instruction designed exclusively for students with disabilities, giftedness, and 
talents. So, tanan mo mga estudyante or learners na naay kapansanan na ay mga kakuyano, kakuyangon. Um, uh, for example, uh, dili ka kita, magresod ka pag utlantaw, um, bungol, um, ama, maglisod og lakaw, oh, maglisod og kanang iyang bitaw mga functions na daily kun nato makita sa mga ordinary na mga learners, jao no, mga learning disability sad, especially sa dili nato makita, no, ang ila ang behavior management, no. Uh, other than that, part sad sa sped ang giftedness kanang mga sujante na na adud sila yung mga exquisite na mga or extreme na mga mga gifts oh intelligence talents oh so in other countries ang term nila is sen or the special education needs wherein they are referring uh this to children with impairments that really needs additional support so kay from the term special education meaning it really requires an special treatment or an additional treatment or support para mas maka participate ang mga learners. So, we are talking here about inclusive education and special education. But there are other related concepts sa kanin doha kabok na ito ina-mention just a while ago. What are this? This are mainstreaming. And we also have integration. So what are these two na related concepts sa inclusive and special education? Sa mainstreaming, these are um, practice of educating students with learning challenges in regular classes in the least restrictive environment based on their skills. So patung mga learners na na ay mga learning challenges or mga special needs, ibutang sila sa uh, regular classes in the least restrictive environment based on skills. Uno man ang um, LRE or least restrictive environment. Pag mula ang nalikta dyan, ang intention na gagod sa LRE is to make sure na ang mga bata is makareceive ng kanang uh ma makareceive ng general education as often as possible just like the ordinary students no mo na ang mainstream kumbaga uh imo sila imo siya gi dala ibutang diri pero dapat uh nai with assistance no sa kana then Sa integration is, according to Franklin, it refers to the creation of spaces such as the regular classrooms, special education classrooms, or pull-out services for diverse learners. Later on, mas masab na nito unang integration. Pero just uh, for the meantime, kanilang asa makuha na nito idea. So, siguro, from that other related concepts sa uh, inclusive and special education na na may idea. No? But remember that school that admits learners with disabilities and combines them with regular pupils in the regular classroom as we have defined earlier is said to perform integration while ang classroom no, is called as the mainstream classroom. However, kanina set up does not automatically mean that they are already practicing inclusion. So na ay bajay missing na part. Ato joon i try bisa tung taghatag sa ato na definition from the UNESCO about inclusivity or inclusion. O manong dili man enough ang integration and mainstream classroom or mainstream. Nga na di pa man siya matawag totally as uh, inclusion or inclusive education. So o man bajay gadget definition pa lang pa sa UNESCO. Ang UNESCO, nag-ingon sila na ang inclusion or inclusiveness is the process sa pag-respond and pag-address sa diversity needs ng mga different kinds of learners 
wherein dapat sabay sila na increasing of participation in learning, in culture, and communities, wherein ja ay reduction o kung mahimo, eliminate ang mga exclusivity or exclusion within and from education. Because sometimes, ang pagiging, well, ang exclusive is uh, limited lang sa mga few people or mga special people. Muna ang exclusive, di ba? So usually, abi na to, ang mainstreaming o ang integration is already inclusion. Pero inside sa process, ma feel gihapon ma sense gihapon na joy ga po exclusivity so naana gyapon ang experience of exclusion within sa education no so muna na i try pagjud nato ini pag breakdown ang kanay inclusion so unsa di ay unsa mi unsa pa maagi na i sa pag address sa pag respond sa diversity needs nan mga learners para high ang ilang participation ma may estudyante man na, na ordinary or may estudyante man na with disabilities uno may kinahanglan buhaton sa isa ka eskwelahan sa isa ka sistema unsa may ang ilang na buhaton or sa isa ka classroom let's be specific on that hmm? so this involves this is the answer no now pasok na siya sa criteria on inclusion now sa UNESCO. Pag involved na ganyan ng changes and modifications sa content, sa lesson, or sa activity, ang approaches, ang structure, ang strategies, job project common of vision, which covers all children of the appropriate age range. So, important nga po ang age range sa inclusion, no? Okay. Um, yes, inclusive, all all should be kuan. Pero na may tagtawag na developmentally appropriate. So, kung mahimo, ang imo edad is pasok na gahapon ka. So, para makasabay gajun ka sa kaning mga ordinary. O makasabay gajun ka mga ordinary dito sa mga gifted. O katon may mga learning challenges. So, and let's go back and an involvement uno gadget and inclusion it should have a conviction that it is the responsibility of the regular system to educate all children hmm? so in this illustration that you are uh, now looking in your screen we'll try to differentiate this ex uh, this four types of Uh, reality na gakita po d'yo sa ito ang sistema. Let's start with exclusion. From the word ex, meaning, no, kung nakita ni d'yo ini, ang sa yang illustration, no, it occurs when students are directly or indirectly prevented from or denied access to education in any form. Kung may reason na ma-exclusive ang isa ka, well, siguro, medyo nakita, di ba? Hindi na sa outside. Most siguro ni ang mga estudyante na dili maka-eskwila, especially kung dyan sila yung mga balatian, dyan sila yung mga um, special educational needs, pero tungod sa kubrihon, di sila maka-eskwila. Layo kaayo sa ila uh, ang eskwila. So, maglisod sila og access kita ga remote area sila dili walay walay ispilahan na available dito sa ila barrio na or ang parents dili sa ginatugtan na muskwila ila ang mga estudyante may ana so dili nila ma-enjoy ang ang access sa pag eskwela in a regular classroom this is what we call the exclusion type Okay, they are prevented from uh, having an access to education. Regardless sa ibig, ang pinaka-common ganyan doon kay ang sa economic na economic na concern mo nang gili maka-eskwila ang mga uh, estudyante na walay kaya or uh, sa ila race siguro or uh, doon may mga kapansanan. Hmm? 
Then let's move forward sa another type. We have segregation. Siguro kung mabantay ninyo, di ba, ang segregation, madungga na to dyan sa pag, paglahi sa mga trashes or pasurahan. So, murag, yung anak sa an, koan, ang segregation is uh, tipo si dyan na wherein isolate ni mo patun mga may disabilities na bata from the regular class. Okay? So, there is separation of environments. Uh, so, atun koan, uh, na dyan uh, school na para ragadod sa mga uh, may anak na mga uh, kapansanan. Then, dirisad sa integration, it is a process of placing the persons with disabilities in the existing na mainstream educational institutions. As long as the former can adjust the standardized requirements of such institutions. So, balikan ta, ang kani, ang segregation is dyan sila outside, so they will learn separately. Okay? Pero pag abot diri sa integration, katun may mga disabilities, ibutang sila sa mainstream. Unya, sila mag-adjust. Dapat, um, apa sila. No? Sa mga requirements. No? Dapat, makasunod lang ka din ha o let's say, ang intelligence level ni mo, uh, kaya ba niyo mga activities. So, kana ang integration. Igo ako tag-insert, tag-integrate. No? From the word integrate. Then, lastly, inclusion. Wherein, can you get an best type of system? Uh, according to UNESCO. Kung sa manday ni siya, mo na itong tumong na ginestoryhan na to from the very beginning. It involves a process of systemic reform. Reform. Kay dos at nakitang ganina ng mga types of systems. Kuan siya, traditional. Very limited ang opportunity sa mga sijante to access. Pero diri sa inclusion involves a, uh, a process of systemic reform. Embodying changes, modifications in content, and teaching methods. So, dapat ang mga teachers diri well-trained. No? Ang approaches nila, ang structures and strategies sa mga edu uh, education to overcome barriers with a vision serving to provide all the students of their 11th age range. No? Mano na, ang, ang mga dili, dili enough na mo offer lang ta na hindi pang eskwela ko na diritanan pero ang pangata na is prepared ba ang materials ang facilities no naabay ramps para sa uh, let's say sa eskwelahan naabay ramps or don kan bitaw para sa magresort og lakaw para di na sila mo take ng stairs or elevator para sa John ako and ready ba no wala ba yung mga Uh, sa labi na dyan, sa gabal, pag mulakaw, ang mag-isod o glantaw or kuan. Uh, kaya, those things, dapat contextualize siya. No? More respond siya sa need, sa, sa learners. Inclusion is about placing students with disabilities within the mainstream classes without accompanying structure and changes too. For example, organization, curriculum, teaching, and learning strategies does not constitute inclusion. Furthermore, integration does not automatically guarantee the transition from segregation to inclusion. That's what I'm talking about right here. Really enough na kung tag-integrate ka, kung makita mo na ito siguro ang kalahi, ano? integration is this. No, dito nakasiyud na ang katun mga estudyante na may mga disabilities, pero nagapun sila yung mga treatments, nagapoy mga um kuan, himuon nila na adjustments kay para makapasyud sila sa kaning mga ordinary or normal na students or regular class. Pero diri sa 
inclusion, equal ang opportunity. Walay, walay paboran, walay paganan kuan, no? So, muna siya, kahit nung modified ang materials, modified ang kuan, ang facilities, adjusted para sa tanan. Hmm? So, ako na laman i-try gap, although we've been talking on this, pero through um, elaboration on the conceptualization of inclusion and mainstreaming of integration, basin mas matugangan pa ang ato ang kahipayo, right? So, inclusion, we've been talking this earlier. It's about placement of the learners in the regular class based on the age, di ba? Age appropriate, may, may, may range on the appropriateness sa, sa, sa age. Kay, oh, ato na ako tagnan siya ganina, na dapat de developmentally appropriate. No? So, kinangla na makasabay sa gihapon. Or re pero regardless of their abilities or disabilities. So, kung ang ilang edad is sa inina na grado na, dito siya mo join. No? So, muna siya, there are no pull-outs and no shadow teaching. Um, Pag-lot of pull-outs, kana bang dili na ni mo si Jala ong na tanggalon kay imo mag-special treatment ka o kay uh, uh, na siya gina-undergo ng mga kuan, therapy, or na siya yung mga uh, special tools na gamitun. Kaya na bitaw, so di nyo si Jan i-pull out sa inclusion. Kaya dito, i-serve na ang kana ng mga uh, facilities or tools. No shadow teaching. Pamuntag no. Uh, shadow teaching, or dyan tagtawag natin ng mga shadow teachers, these are teachers who are considered as educational assistants na ga-help or ga-spend ng more time para makaapas ang um, mga estudyante. Amo diyan ginahimo sa integration, kasi ba dapat um, makasabay sila. So most likely ang parents or ang relative or family mag-provide ng mga shadow teachers for their children. Pero dire sa inclusion um ginareduce or gina-eliminate ang presence ng shadow teaching. Kay dapat lagi ang materials, ang approach sa teacher ang um, ang um, facilities enough na para i-cater ang tanan. Ba? So next mainstreaming. Ang mainstreaming actually uh, I'm just repeating aton ganina ng mga concepts pero diri murag additional lang na kuan preview of this systems. The so, placement of learners in the regular class is based on admission requirements o kompleto kag ingani na mga kuan hmm? enjoy mo card enjoy mo uh, pang enroll so makasulit ka o oh, sa joo na na klase nga eskwelahan oh. so provision of interaction with regular children with regular class as the child's station so most likely kay mainstream man siya na type of classroom regular na mga students and ja on dira but this can also include shadow teaching in the regular class. And there is also provision of pulling out of or even on one and mga. Amo to ato taglaong na least restrictive environment. So na tay intention to make sure na ang mga kids na na ay special education uh, will be included sa mga general education na mga uh, subjects or kanang learning no? as often as possible. And in integration, placement of learners in the regular class in one or more subjects or activities. Mm -hmm. So, pwede na, okay, gi-insert lang siya, gi-integrate. So, pwede na ito mga, mga, mga students na with disabilities sa kanina portion kanina subject or kanina na ko ay ibutang sila pero joy sa mga time na dili na sad yan na so integration dyan si Joe but this can may also include tutorial and other learning assistance programs so pwede mo link into other agencies na mas makatabang sa or na mas makahatag ng progression 
sa kuan sa student. Provisions of interaction with regular children with SPED class as the child's station. Mato, we integrate and mga SPED students into irregular class. There are uh, many terms na ato na mention about inclusive education. But here in the Philippines, it is defined as uh, the process where all types of learners with diverse needs are given equal opportunities for a meaningful life in a non-discriminatory environment. Okay, so what are these environments? This should foster belongingness through culturally or spiritually sensitive. Dapat ang curriculum learner-centered. It should be uh, focusing what what really is needed. No? Dili ko what you want as a teacher to implement ra. Dapat mo yung need ka What is asked from the learners? Learning processes, the delivery modes and settings. So here in the Philippines, exclusive education ang mga categories na appeal sa ini na sistema are the gifted and talented na mga learners mga indigenous people mga muslim people because uh, we are, we are known as kuan man uh, christian country so we are accommodating you no know, muslim people and other religions tapos learners with disability so no discrimination no no discrim discriminatory environments no equal opportunities should be given culturally or spiritually sensitive no and mo beto na isa sad sa kuan tanang uh, program para sa yang iban man good uh, dili lang sa kanina mga areas no na category na sa region dili na yun makaskwela bitaw sa college kay tungod kay wala nakatapos ng high school or kuan so ang iban muagi sa ini na programa Alner alternative learning system so naga pay standard dito para kun maka uh, pasar ko din ha comply ni mo ang mga requirements so you can now proceed to higher education or the else so na yung mga schools di ba sa mga public schools na to na gina gina kuan gajin ginatuunan din ini ng pansin. So, but in practice, although these are the categories na part sa Philippine Inclusive Education, these are the people na gusto i-cater sa Philippine Inclusive Education, in practice, students with disabilities in the Philippines are either placed in an inclusive education setting or in a special education setting. Okay? So, ato gihapon, itry pag-table dere o ni LHI. Para gajod mas um, reach ang ato ang uh, comprehension when it comes to differences and likeness of inclusive and special education. So, sa kuan, sa inclusive education, all learners, regardless of the condition, participate in a mainstream classroom alongside sa ilang mga kaedad or ilang age range. Then, the learners adhere to a prescribed curriculum and methodology with some accommodations adapt or adaptations, modifications to meet the needs of the learners with disabilities, with giftedness, and with talents. All students simply require good instruction, but different teaching strategies may be employed to those with low or very high education needs. Mogan na na very challenging sa teacher as implementer of the inclusive education to really master and find uh, or learn different strategies or approaches to uh, help the the students kay lain hay ba yan ay fast learner na ay slow learner na say average so how do you address that here in the inclusive education that would be possible with good training with uh, kuan kanang commitment 
So, John Gajajoan, possible siya. The general education teacher oversees the learning students and in some cases with the help of a shadow teacher or a special education teacher. So, naiga pa yung mga instances, pero don't get this wrong, ha? Pero ang mga special accommodation, mga shadow teachers, kanina ganyan mga rare case na ganyan kibali ini na John Dili ganyan makaapas ang isa ka this uh, learner with disability. So, muna na na time ganyan na i-pull out si John. Pwede si John mag-pull out, pero pwede ganyan si John hapon kasabay yun sa kadaganan. Ideal number sa isa ka, inclu isa ka inclusive classroom is 30 to 35 students. Okay? Carry na dito no? Medyo, dili na dyan, pan manageable na dyan sa teacher to implement the system. How about in special education? So, the learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents are accommodated in a special class along with other learners of the same condition. So, sa SPED class, sila sila gajod no kanang pariha man sila may kapansanan so mura pud ila mga makita dito ang mga tools ga share pud sila uh, an advance o mga uh, kun school siya for mga gift with giftedness na mga learners or my talent so same kwansa sila environment na nagauban dito so na sila special curriculum structured on the learner's condition. For example, mga intellectual disability, visual impairments, pero based si Jasad sa regular curriculum. Ga, ga extract lang ta ng mga kuan to contextualize the design of the materials or the tools to be used during the discussion or during the uh, transfer of uh, learning. The learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents are given a specialized and intensive instruction. Ang cord, instruction, ang cord on their curriculum. Intensive. So, di siya basta-basta. So, um, there is really a requirement for a teacher to put extra effort, no, extra patience para ma-deliver ni Joel um, kuan ang iya uh, or ma, ma mas maging helpful siya sa situation sa iya ang mga sped students and the special education teacher oversees the learning of the learners with disabilities very attentive dapat ang isa ka sped teacher no especially kay ang iya ang nasa iyang classroom mga learners with disabilities with giftedness and talents so and it's very important that a SPED class should be in a collaborative partnership with the other professional listed uh, professionals such as mga uh, therapists, no? um, pa na mga other professions that will uh, help na ma-elevate uh, um, progress sa uh, isa ka-student na ginabutang dyan siya sa IEP or what we call as individualized educational plan or program. So, ang mga special education teacher, as part of their intensive uh, duty, is to create gajud, in, an individualized educational plan. So, unsa man ang um, um, ratio, no? So, jay, sa sa distribution or sa number of students. So, mas best na sila kung one-on-one dyan. One Pero kung group ko, three to four, that will do. So, pag resource group, five to ten. So, makita nga dyan ninyo ang difference niya sa inclusion or sa inclusive from the special. So, uh, mas gamay or limited numbers lang dyan ang involved there is a sped classes or sa special education. Now, special education refers to programs that cater to the educational needs of learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents apart from their panamabita na sa inyo ang mga uh, reporting assignment po kun, you are assigned to these different types of learners. So, mas mailhan na ito kung saan sila pag-identify. 
na silang types. Uh, unsa may mga characteristics ini ng mga bata. Onya, unsa man na to, may mga trends and issues when it comes to teaching these types of learners. O may mga principles or strategies to be used. And SPED involves planning, implementing, monitoring, and evaluating a specially designed and coordinated set of services through an individualized education plan. As I've said earlier, this is the job or isa ni sa ginalook forward na himuon jod sa isa ka SPED chair to create an IEP. Okay? So, what is an IEP? So, this is an example of an IEP. No? Butangin mo ang profile sa bata, una iya ang mga um, present, iyang present condition, una may mga learning challenges niya, unsa may mga learning recommendations. Diri na musulod ang mga recommendations niya, unsa na mga klase na some na mga professionals and dapat mo accommodate sa iyaan na mo link sad ka into other agencies or ko so medyo puti si Jadagan kayo kuan pero for the benefit sa bata no na nag-enroll sa jo na kuan na system this is very uh kuan kana worth it no para mas matabangan sila An IEP is tailored to identify and address specific na strengths or limitations towards their educational, social, behavioral, and physical development through uh, through monitoring or planning their IEP. Mo reflect the re and mga uh, classic class in aspeto na kinahanglan nato punan, no or ato anticipate na ato ang mahatagan uh, ng uh, assistance sa ini na mga klase sa estudyante. Okay, um, the following sa ini na slide or are, are terms na uh, common na ginagamit in addressing or calling learners with special educational needs. So, aside sa ini na term, Pinatawag po sila na students with additional needs or SWAN. Pwede sa children with special needs or CSN. Pwede sa students with special education needs or SEN. Or children with uh, special educational needs and disabilities or SEND. And learners with disabilities or LWD. So, the learners with disabilities, this is the preferable term according to Boston's. So, take note that the rights of persons with disabilities or learners with disabilities are fundamental human rights and they are not special rights. And also, in addition, ang term na disability, kay basi ma, ma ma jay yung mga sensitivity when it comes to using that word kay laura bakit na ang preferable pag-address or pagtawag ini sa ila is uh, learners with disabilities so i would like to give some additional na uh, knowledge on you that the term disability is not a derog derogatory term while the term is special that might be oh, so don't be so oversensitive kung tawagun ang isa katao na learners with disability. So, actually, mas preferable siya. So, this is a another illustration sa kanina mga klase sa system or education system present. So, sa special education, oh, as you see in here, sa special education, Education, present ang learners with disabilities or katong mga learners with giftedness and talents. So, kung ay learners with disabilities and with giftedness and talents, so there should be special teachers and a special school na mo fit sa ila ang need. There is a regular education, kay regular man ang child or ordinary, so regular ang teachers, regular ang school. So, here comes ang 
therapy rehabilitation. So here in the integrated education, we are trying to put some transition. So changing the child to fit the system. No? Amo to na isulod na to at mga SPED students sa isa ka regular classroom, making them adjust on the environment. So dapat uh, makapas sila sa kuan sa kadaghanan. Amo dyan sa integration, kay insert man sila. So in here, uh, system stays the same. So meaning, kay ang sistema nagpadayo naman, amura man an, and sa regular class, kay ang mga provided tools, uh, equipments, facilities, materials, learning materials, kay it stays the same. Especially para sa regular uh, children. So, we need to say, ang mga SPED students na insert sa jaon na klase, they should be adapting sa, sa only nag-exist na system. Or else, if di nila ma-adapt, that's the reason why na mag-fail sila or less ang ila opportunity to um, progress. Hmm? Yeah, nah. uh, whereas, this is the ideal one. No? This is adopted from UNICEF. The inclusive education, children are different. No? This is what we call a flexible system. Comparing it ganina sa integrate, uh, to, integrated education. Inclusive education is a flexible system. Children are different. All children can learn. Different abilities with different ethnic groups, different sizes, different ages, uh, background, different genders. So it's not about um, changing the child to fit on the system. It's about changing the system to fit the child. So it's a different uh, goals sa inclusive o sa uh, integrated education. So in this, another illustration. We have here equality, equity, reality, and liberation. So Ang kaning wall na ito ang kwan, this serves our this serves as the different barriers person can experience. Could it be economic barriers, social barriers, um, personal barriers, personality barriers, um, other other things that could limit a person. So here in the equality. Um, to ensure equality, give them equal blocks. Diba? Different persons, diverse people. So you want to give equality? Oh, you want to have equality? So give same and equal block. Okay, so di na neto nakita. Kinsara may nakakita. Kinsara may naka-access. Of course, that pong mga tagas na. Oh, so, makita ga po na to na mm, medyo wala ga po na serve ang kuan kun mo demand kita or gusto ko na to ang equality. How about in this picture sa equity? Sa equity, diri na maging sensitive sa na yes, sa equality kay given equal opportunities. Pero sa equity, mas uh, hataga na to ng priority katong mga less fortunate katong less ang ila ang access so in this picture kaning bigger guy or to to taller guy ang iyang block iyang gihatag sa gadtong pinakagamay sa ilaa so that makes duha naka blocks ang gitong kuan sa inina na tao or inina bata so accessible na sa iya makita na niya, ma-enjoy na niya kung unsaan mga pwede na i-participate sa system. No? So, muna ang e equity. Do you like it? Diba? How may mas kuan? Equality or equity? Pero, in reality, this is what is happening. No? Katong mga 
uh, bigger people or taller people or mga ilado na sa society, mas daghay influence, sila gadyon ang mas laong pa, uh, mas ni, ni progress ang kinabuhi. Katong mga dyan gadyon sa laylayan, laong pa, Tagalog, uh, mga tao na dyan to gadyon sa malisuron, mas nagmalisuron. So, this is what is happening in the reality. Pero, um, uh, Let's not take this into one na discourage na no. That is why we are here to learn. Para we will break this mga stigma or kanina mga pattern of systems. So in the last picture, we have here, remove na ang barriers. Remove na ang walls. Remove na ang mga social barriers, personal barriers, economic barriers, um, work barriers, and whatsoever. So, they are now enjoying the liberation. There is already freedom. So, di ba kagana sa uh, puan, kagana sa kalibutan, if we have this liberation, in the sense that we are also responsible of what we are doing. It doesn't mean that we have the freedom. Uh, we can do anything that we want. Of course, it also should be a uh, kuan ka ng uh, accompanied with responsibility in handling your mga uh, rights and uh, mga concerns. No? So, this are the for uh, what do we call this? Kaya to siya matawag na um, sistema ang hihapon sa kung uno ang kakaitabo sa ito ang uh, mga daily living. So, I was, I, I just inserted that kay para makita na ito na there may basis na nung need ba dyan na ito ng inclusion or inclusive. Kaya sa idyong makita, di ba, in reality, daghan ang daily mag-access. So, we really need to be accessible. No? Kanina tanan mga program sa gobyerno, sa uh, unay sa ato nasod. So dapat nag-exercise ang isa sa ini na na-right. Eh, dapat sa kuan, mga uh, rights na dapat ato makuan sa iba na mga uh, klase na mga tao. Regardless sa ila ang mga gi na gigikanan daw pa asa sila nagikan okay uh, in making education inclusive teachers use both accommodation and modification strategies in teaching kay nakita man nato na important ang inclusive ganina ra nato gimension na there should be involvement of modification of uh, content kato so uno may kalahian ini accommodation strategies and modification strategies in implementing inclusive uh, education. So, kung ang isa ka teacher, yung strategy is more on accommodation, um, it's about changing how learners with, or change how learners with disabilities, giftedness, and talents learn the same material and meet the same expectation as their age peers. So, example, person na na visual impairment using, no, kadi ma siya, mag-isod ma siya, og lantaw, so, mag-accommodate ka, oh, as a teacher, o oh, sa inclusive na classroom, so, you will give or uh, give audio books instead of kuan, letting him na basa ganyan sa kana na libro na imong gi utanga nga reference so why not provide an audio book or mga highlighted texts para mas dali ni makita or print it in large na print materials para mas accessible jud sa iya readable jud sa iya ang material so that is what we call accommodation na strategy sa isa ka inclusive teacher so mag accommodate i uh, ano pa da? Punan, kung unay kuyang. So, 
Pag mula tag modification sub, this is also another strategy where it changes what a student is taught or expected to learn. So example, a person with intellectual disability use less complicated text materials of different content topic than their age peers. So sa modification, murag na alang kay kuhaan. Kung ganina sa accommodate is magdugang pag material or tool para masupplyan ang needs sa isa ka studyante, there is a modification strategy is bawasan ni mo para di na kaay siya maglisod. Oh, matutalan na to, ang person with intellectual disability, why not use less complicated na mga text materials para mas dali ninyo masabitan ang content topic. No? Kaysa ito yung mga, kaya ito yung iban, dali naman nila makuha. So, i-modify na lang. Meme. Amo dyan ang mga, uh, kanya na strategy na ginagamit din sa mga inclusive teacher. Accommodation or modification. Add and uh, minus. May nalasa dyan na, na kung ang kibali, na pattern. The term disability is often confused with impairment. The precondition to completely understand its definition is by becoming acquainted with its two major disability models, which are the medical and social model. So I have an illustration here. Another illustration. Kung ito makita, inning stare, this is more siyang nag-represent sa Goal, no, Murag, going there sa top. So, we have here two persons with same problem. Dili maka, uh, I mean, dili makalakaw kung tarong. Or, yeah, dili makasaka dito sa katuna goal. Now, let's uh, try to see unikalahian sa medical model o sa social model. Pag mulang ta sa medical model, We have a traditional view sa mga persons with disabilities na sila ang may problema. Maun, dili sa dyan maka-add dito sa taas. Kay, di ba siya kabal... Kung ba siya? Yung tiil kay, dili man maka... Kaya pagsaka na dito. Pungkol man siya. Kasi, or may polio man siya. Yan na. Siya ang may problema. So, dapat, i-fix ni mo i-mosel. Okay, kung may may problema, so you really need treatment para maka, maka saka ka ulit to. That's the medical model. Pero diri sa barriers, as sa barriers, sa social model, ang problem is dili, dili gikan. Gikan sa gawas, gikan sa social, no? O sa society ang barriers, no? So, possible man na makasaka sa dya. Provided, in any way, pwede. Dapat, kulang lamang ng ramps. Kulang na, siguro, elevator. Pwede ka pa siya makasaka, pero wala may use of elevator. Or, kana, mga prejudices sa mga other people. Nanya, di ni mo dyan kaya, adyan na pagsaka rin ito, kaya di ka dyan na imo kaya. So, those barriers, nagikan sa society. Muna ang sa social model. I hope na klaro ni Jo. Medical model is murag ang kuan is within problem. No mo nang dili niya kaya mo sa kadito sa kung unsay mga goals. Pero dili sa social model is ang discouragement, ang pressure is charigikan sa mga tao sa kakuyangon sa facilities. No? So it limits the person to go top guy dili man available ang mga resources. To better understand what I'm trying to say based on the illustration, let's try to uh, compare this uh, table, the medical and the social model. So as what, I, what I'm saying, medical model, the person is the problem. Uh, whereas on the social model, the barriers that were created by the society are the problem. For the medical model, the individual needs to change no? para ma-reach niya ang iya ang goal to learn or goal to be to, to, to finish. 
the, the rates or to finish his or her studies. So, dapat sa iya mismo magsugod ang kausaban. Uh, no? But in the social model, the barriers need to be removed because klaro ang presence sa barriers. Dili available ang mga resources. So, this should be removed. In the medical model, the PWDs or persons with disabilities become the victim or the client. And that, because of that, okay, nahimo na noon sila na uh, disempowered. No? Kay mura mag uh, imo man na kuan, kakuyangon man na imo, na di ka panaw, or na kayong anak na disability. So that makes you a victim or a client which is nagsuffer po ka of being disempowered. Pero there is a social model, PWDs have independence, control, and choice. Na ay choice. Especially, kung si Jasad Manikaw na dili ni Jai mind ang mga social barriers. Just go on uh, the top or on your priorities or on your goal. Kung yan na, then sa medical model, assessment, uh, monitoring, and evaluation are imposed by therapy. Para matabangan ka, so go with a, a, a therapy. Uh, participate in a therapy. No? Let's say, kung dili ka pa na, o dyan mga physical therapy, di ba? Kung, kung an, uh, behavior problems, though, go to a counselor, go to a psychiatrist, go to a psychologist. Paano mo yan? Then, there is as a social model, resources are made available to regular services. Uh, muna na mga resources, mga facilities, mga tools. So, this should be uh, provided. Sa, uh, sa medical model, segregation and alternative services are given. But here, in the social model, training of parents and professionals are provided. Pwede ba? Um, so, yeah, ato ko na. Sa medical model, segregation and alternative services are given. So, if you have a problem on in, uh, in walking, you will be provided on prof by dito mga professional na kuan uh, amo ini dili ang aid para mamahala jaw ka no or ma mahimo ka able sa kanang imo problem there is a social model there should be a need no for training of parents no para sila sad mismo involved kay ang society ba ya ang ang hinungdan na dili ma-reach ang goal because of pressures, because of lack of materials, because of lack of training, because of lack of um assistance, no? Where in here in the medical model, society remains unchanged. Wala yung mag mag sa society kay ikaw man ang jay problema. So fix first yourself. Pero diri, kung ikaw ang kibali may learning disabilities ba, so, at kung may learning disabilities, so, siya ang fix sa yung self. Kaya dyan man sa iya ang problem, muna hindi siya makareach there. Pero diri sa social model, society evolves. So, ang society, different, word. kabantay ka mo, kanira issue, sa sunod na sad na mga generation, lay inasad, and mga possible mga stereotypes or mga stigma na i-create. So it's in the society si Jagajud Murag dako siya na factor sa pagreach ng goal sa isa ka uh, learner or person with a disability. So in the school setting of course the educational apart from the structural barriers such as mga facilities kuyang ng elevator kuyang ng ramp kulang ng uh, mga gamit uh, kulang ng, ng on tools para uh, makabasa si Jams, kambuta si Jams, um, kulang ng hearing aid, kulang ng mga subtitles para ma mas masabdan sa puan, kulang ng rooms na makajagan-jagan ang isa kabata na may ADHD or may malingaw or may may mga um, interaction sa mga bata na may mga learning disabilities, kana mga structural barriers ha? Many learners with disabilities face attitudinal barriers that could lead to isolation and low achievement in the classroom. Kaya most likely, just attitude problem. 
no? Walay motivation, walay uh, determination. Wala po'y acceptance from the society. Oh, so, muna sila ang nagkatagrasad ng reason na na yung mga low levels of engagement sa mga students, especially kung may mga great needs kayo or special needs. So, as a free service teacher, kamo jawin, as future teachers, nag-school ako man to become teacher someday, it is important to avoid discriminatory behavior and language. So, that's what I'm saying na let's be sensitive of the language that we are saying, especially when we are trying to address a particular person or student. Do not say or avoid the terms that would create something sa ilaan that you are discriminating them because of their abilities or their physical appearance or their behavioral. No? Do not um, give gestures or behavior that will make them feel that you don't like them. No? Or you don't care about them. Be sensitive enough as in connection not to make them feel different. Kaya basin, tungod sa, yan yung said, ang teacher, syempre nga intention is to cater their needs. Pero basin na sobraan kita to the point na mas na-highlight tungod sa gusto na to na maprotectan, especially at may mga mga sped students, na yung mo, nanuka na tag-highlight na to na, oy, adyo lang mong joke, ano mo, adyo lang mong joke. So murag, ikaw sa mismo ang nagpa-feel sa bata na special siya na dili siya pwede makisabay sa iban. So, somehow, be sensitive. Kabay ko dapat kung kano sa kamuundang pag-emphasize na na siya kakuyangon. So, those things, you know, kahit para uh, walay barriers iya yeah, to reach his potentials. And avoid name calling. But later on, we will be talking about what I'm trying to say na name calling. Especially yung mga na kung ano yung kaho, di kung yung kasabot, bugo yung ka, kung ano yung hyper, kung ano yung ka, kay namagot kay disorder, ah, kung ano yung ka, kaya na, di yung kakuan kay, di makakita, di makakadungog, di makakuan. So, marami, dagan kay mga tagpan ko. So, avoid, avoid, avoid. Hmm? So, about sa itong avoid name calling na ako ginamension, I suggest we should use the people first policy when addressing people with disabilities. People first policy. So most likely, this is uh, part of being uh, diversity sensitive. No? Or kana, no? in, in, in dapat ang ato ang language or ganito na pag-address. So, what's on people first policy? Kasi yung um, orientation or uh, formula. First, people or person. Yung masatawagan ko, person ba or people, ano? Plus, ang iyong condition or impairment. So, magsunod yun sila. People or person plus ang iyong, uno may iyong condition or iyong impairment. So, I have here a few examples of what is the right way to say and what is the wrong way to say. Okay, so correct way of saying, sample, person with an intellect, intellectual disability. So see, person plus the condition or impairment. So person with an intellectual disability. Do not say intellectually disabled person. Do not say mentally retarded. Do not say learning disabled. Oh, so instead, the correct way of saying using the people first policy is person with an intellectual disability. Next, person with mental health impairment. Again, people or person plus the condition or impairment. So, person with mental health impairment. Do not say mentally ill. Do not say mental patient. Do not say insane. Do not say abnormal. Do not say special. So, if you are trying to address because 
you are uh, trying to describe him or her that having trouble on mental health oh, or challenges on mental health. So just use the people first policy, person with mental health impairment. Okay? So yes, this might be kuan na uh, mas taas man mas taas man good ma'am kung mag-strip kita ng person with an intellectual disability kaysa dyan kung wala rin ba na mentally retarded abnormal special insane uh, yeah the in this column these are the things na dali na to good ma'am story like convenience ato but let's be sensitive no? we are trying to promote here acceptance no of the different types of people and addressing it. Okay, they're also, even if they have mga kakulangon, impairments, they are equal. That also needs acceptance and proper addressing. So use the correct way of saying these types of people, the learners with disabilities. Okay, so we'll end there for this chapter. So this is the reference. You can go over there. And um, so that ends our discussion on the chapter uh, 1.2 on the basic concepts on special and inclusive education. Thank you.